my name is uh, Roberto Sanchez, you know, and uh, uh, somebody gave me a flyer where I live. I live on Chalmers Courts, and uh, you know, they gave me a flyer and they say that they got a problem called Fidance. And you know, so I just get a shot, you know, because, uh, to go see where it is, you know, because they say they're gonna have food and all that, you know, so I come and see, you know, let me see what it is. But when I was here, you know, I see that that was an orientation class and you know, there was a lot of people from Goodwill and, and ACC and all that. And then, you know, I see that I can have the opportunity to, to go to go to school. So, you know, I just, you know, that they gave me a flyer and all that. And, and, you know, right away I went to ACC and I started, you know, getting classes, you know, for my GD. And, uh, you know, after I finished my GD, I want to get a certificate of uh, electrician. You know, and you know, keep going forward. You know, because I don't know. You know that, that uh, you know everybody can get help over here. You know, because I'm from Mexico, and you know, I, my thoughts always like, nah, nobody is gonna help a Mexican. You know, but that was wrong. You know, because now I see that I can be on the same place that other people are. You know, and, and it's a blessing for me because now you know everything I'm doing it. I'm doing it not only for me but for my family. You know. And, and you know I'm so excited and doing all this you know going to school working and going through bad things you know but uh, you know but uh, God always you know bless me you know and, and you know I'm, I'm very blessed you know because my wife my wife is pregnant too you know so it's another child coming you know, and, and you know it, it, it's too much you know the experience I have you know going bowling and having fellowship every every Wednesday and all that, you know, that was an experience uh, I never expect to have, you know, but uh, now, you know, I accomplish what I start, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, that is, is giving me more hope that, you know, that I start going to ACC now, so I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish what I start to and get the other stuff I want, you know, for, for you know, for my, for my life, you know, but, you know, my family is, is on my life, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's what matters, that you doing something, no, no, like, a, uh, like with soul fitness, but it's because of your family, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I, I come over here, you know, and know people, you know, and, and, and you know, it's something that, that keep, keep, uh, keep me uh, pushing me and you know give me more hope you know and that I can do something you know I got a lot out of the um, IDAS program on you know just how to maintain and not be so angry like I used to because it was times where it was a little bitty stuff would make me mad and I'd you know fly off the handle leave out the house slamming doors, slamming cabinet doors, you know, and I, you know I've done it and it's it's brought me closer to to my family. I think. Me personally, you know, it's brought me closer to my wife and my daughter. Everybody was, you know, when I first started coming was nice. I mean, it's the same big group of people with nothing strange, nobody's Demeanor has changed, you know, since I've been coming, because I know I used to go to a lot of meetings as far as uh, anger management and people's demeanors would, you know, change when you walk in the door. You know, they have that demeanor like, well, I don't want to be here. Well, you know, you have to be here in order to keep from getting kid, your kids removed. So, you know, and it's, it was a big help to me with coming to this because you know I get off of work and you know, I try to you know, try to make everyone that I could is just that you know waiting for the bus get to one bus to get to the bus that I need to get home so that was a lot of the reasons why I wasn't here all the time but when I could make it I would come and it helped, you know it helped me out you know especially by reading reading your book you know some of the stuff that you were talking about in your book like I said what was that week before
before last in, in the meeting, you know, I can relay on what you went through at a young age, just like I went through, where <clears throat> my mom raised my mom and my grandparents raised me. So, you know, that it drew me closer to them and also the wisdom and the knowledge that they gave me. I kind of took it in, but I didn't let it soak up and absorb. So, you know, it just kind of goes back on childhood memories. And, you know, I was like, wow, that was me. That was me when I was that age. You know, my mom was always going to football practices with me, to football games. My dad may have went to one football game throughout the whole time I played Pee Wee football. You know, and that's what I just want to try to give back to my daughter. So if she decides to play sports, to be at all of her games and whatever she may decide to play. Well, my name is uh, Dustin Wood, and uh, I would say. The biggest thing that I got out of IDAS was a lot of structure. Um, I was able to get a DBA thanks to Mr. Rowe and his help, and now I, I now have my own business that is official uh, with IRS EIN number and all. And that's something I'm real proud of. He helped me out a lot with that. You know, I got a lot of support from these guys. I can't even begin to explain how how much relief came off my shoulders as a father to link up with these men and see that they're going through the same things I am and that they have something to contribute to tell me that I, I've never heard, you know? And we connect in a way that I didn't know was possible. I thought I was alone in this fatherhood thing and um, the support has been so, so great. And the energy here was, oh, it was something I looked forward to every single week. Like, got to get there, got to get there. And I think the, the one or a couple times I missed it, you know, I felt like just totally discombobulated. Like, like it was something wasn't right in my life because of how much I got out of this program. Um, also learning like rights of fatherhood and, and all the different rights that we hold as, as dads. You know, and I, I think that there's not a lot of that information out here for us to get. And th this has been amazing in that way. Also having a, a lot of a lot of information given to us about finances and how to run businesses. And there were so many professionals that came and took time out of their day to speak with, with, with what I would say a guy like me, you know, who used to feel down here. Now I'm starting to feel up here. You know, there's some big things changing inside of me internally. Um, my family sees the changes. They feel them. They feel my presence being different. They feel there, there's been so much that's changed. And I'm very thankful, very thankful and grateful for this program, for everyone that, that helped make it happen. You know, I want to send out as many grateful blessings toward all the people that helped make this happen. I really do, man, because it's, it's been a God send for me. And I just hope that uh, it can continue and that I can, I can turn around and be a part to help another person that was in the same chair I was, wanting any kind of help in the world or some kind of relief. You know, I came in feeling pretty desperate, pretty, uh, in a sense, lost in where I was with, with being a dad and keeping the finances run. and. The, the love between the spouse and like there was so much to balance but to see some other guys that are doing it very well and very professional and making it fun too. I mean that was one of the biggest things is that they always had huge smiles on their face making everything fun so you know uh, my hat is off to everyone who made this happen especially uh, Mr. Rowe. Thank you again for everything yes, sir, that you've yes, done for me. I really appreciate it and uh, like I said, I just can't wait to turn around and do what I can for this program to continue going. I dad's for me was simply when I was, you know, when I was young and growing up, we always had a bunch of men gathering up to do something, but it was never good. You know what I'm saying? Like just real, you know, uh, it was good just to be able to be around. All right, I gotta break it down a little better. See, not having a father, that, that, that would be something to say because 
you don't have, you know, not a positive role model, not really around, you know, in the hood and all that, you know, you're just growing up and you sort of learn sort of trial and error, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, it's not nobody telling you, hey, you probably should. Mama said, but she know, mama only know what mama know, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, men, you know, they sort of, maybe not the same thing, but similar things, you know, we'll go through things that women probably never go through, and women like her. But I'm saying like, uh, it was just a place to come where you're not judged, you know, and you can talk to people. You know, and they understand you as men, they hear for something positive, which you never, you know, didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was like almost a fulfillment of a little space that I always had in my life. You know what I'm saying? I can come around these men, okay. You know, they're not my fathers, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that, but you know, it's just good to be around men and talking about positive things, doing positive things versus what I was always used to. You know what I'm saying? Which is the reason why I be so withdrawn, you know, like I don't talk a lot, you know, I sort of be to myself, you know, just because I really don't feel like, I be like, I know what I need to do up here and it really ain't nothing, you know, I've never, you know, it's not a lot of positivity going around. So I, what I like is that it was positive, uh, and through this being positive and us being able to talk about things and helping me with things, um, it gives me a different outlook on life, you know, so I don't feel like, well, Everybody out to get me or or don't nobody, you know, know my pain, nobody know my struggle, don't nobody wanna help me, you know, I might hit one deep by myself, just me and my baby, you know. Uh it sort of took a little bit of that hateful, you know, let edge out that hateful, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just, you know, if all you ever do is get it for you and you know, it's everybody telling you what you can't do and you know, bagging you down, uh, you know, that could start to get to you a little bit and you could almost start believing it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to sort of look within yourself and then surround yourself, I feel, with people that want the same thing you want, you know? And that's what I did as was, you know, for me, you know? I, I was fulfilled. I had uh, people I could talk to that I finally got comfortable, you know what I'm saying, where I can express myself because there's a lot of stuff I was just walking around inside, on the chest, you know, just thoughts, things I got to think about every day that I, <laughs> you know, like, like, you know, going back and forth the court, but I got my daughter in, you know, uh, I had missed the Wednesday or two, but you know, like my 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 daughter, you know, she's been living with me like forever now. Her mom says she wants to be a mom, and she just comes and takes her. You know, when she says, uh, "Can I uh, get her for a day?" Like, you know, sure. I ain't, you know, I'm not gonna hold her against her. She take her for a day. I was so twisted. I was like, "Oh my god!" Because she told me she wasn't gonna bring her back, and I, you know, I'm not understanding. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. It was on a Wednesday. I had court on a Wednesday, and I had high hairs. You know, like I was like, I ain't even, I'm not even stable right now, you know, to just go ahead and sit around my, sit around my guys. But I eventually, you know, I just had to breathe that breath, you know, uh, and I was back because I needed, I needed, you know, just to know, you know, whether we talk about that, whether we don't talk about that, you know, just to hear people that ain't all, you know, down and sad, and, you know, it, it, it's just good. It, it was good, good knowledge, good food for the soul, you know, and. But it, it would help them out to become a better dad. Or if they're married, become a better husband, a better role model. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I used to do, I don't know due to the fact that since I've been coming to the program, you know, it's it's kind of strayed me away from those, those people that I used to hang around with. Like I said, brought me closer to my wife and daughter. You know, I may go out and come to the house, I have a man at work all day, and then come, come in and go right back out the house. You know, that's my way of winding down, is going, walking around, or just doing what I do to kind of, you know, come, you know, get my thoughts together after being at work and dealing with these crazy folks all day. From 8 o'clock in the morning to 3 or 4 o'clock in the evening. It's just my way of you know, getting my thoughts together before I go in the house, or before I step up and say the wrong thing to my wife or to my dog. The fellowship, you know, with each other, you know, help you a lot. Because you can see that sometimes you, you're going through something, but somebody else is going through something else too. So you, you see that you're not the only one that is going through something. So that, that thing uh, give you like a kind of hope, you know, that, okay, we're together over here, this, this uh, uh, brother is going through something, the other one is going through something, and not the same thing, but we're here together, you know, to hear what, what you're going through and all that, you know what I'm saying? 
and then somebody somebody else can give you hope you know what i'm saying like it, it's you know it's something that you know some, uh, sometimes you gotta talk to somebody that you don't see every day you know what i'm saying and, and it, it, that thing help you a lot man for me you know i can you know when i come you know i start sharing with you you know when, when i get jack <laughs> you know and you know, and I was, you know, I was like kind of down, you know, but uh, the, I see that everybody was going through something, not only me, you know, and that thing, you know, keep me, you know, like strong to, you know, uh, don't quit, don't quit, just go forward, go forward, and you know, yeah, when that thing happened, I was thinking to, you know, quitting school and all that, you know, and, and I said, hey man, I just started, you know, <laughs> hey, but, uh, you know, now, you know, all that thing happened, all that bad happened, but now, you know, all that good is coming, you know. Now, you know, I got more tools, you know, I already buy more tools, and I got some job, you know, a lot of, I got a lot of work, man, I, I can't even <laughs> imagine, man, you know, and, and, you know, like, you know, sometimes you, you, you have to, to uh, take, out, take out what you have inside, you know what I'm saying, because sometimes when you keep it, Sometimes uh, those things hurt, you know, hurt yourself. I got like a lot of energy, you know, like, I don't know, man, but, uh, you know, with this thing, you know, I know this thing is just a piece of paper, but uh, that, that, that meaning, you know, the meaning of, of this thing that I can, this, this program helped me to open my eyes that, you know, I can go to school, I can get my GD, I can get a certificate of an electrician, I can do a lot of stuff, man. You know, and it's, and it's uh, what I can tell other people that, hey, man, this is not to just to go and talk, you know, just go and eat or whatever. It's, it's something that is going to help you, you know, and not only for you, but your family too, you know what I'm saying? But it's something good, man. It's something like, like everybody needs. Everybody needs, you know, but some people, you know, they don't got the, the time, you know, but to do this, man, is a, a challenge, you know, it's a challenge that you gotta, you know, put in your life, like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna finish it, you know, and it's, it's something that, you know, that, that, that matters, man, that no, no, no that much that you got a certificate or whatever, but, uh, because you finish what you start, you know. You kept me, you kept me all right. I think, I think <laughs> if I went ahead, yo, you been able to talk to uh, you, uh, Mr. Isaac, as you know, no matter how we may communicate, you know, phone, via internet, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just those words, uh, or you remember my court day, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody care about me, you know what I'm saying? Somebody thinking about me, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, got to worry about none of that, you know what I'm saying? You know, so just that fact that, you know, that that was that was big for me. That, that was all it was all big for me just to know that I have, you know, people that care about me. Cause I you know, I don't feel that, you know, I, I really don't. Um and I'm just I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it all. Like I said, it's just all great. It was a great experience for me. I really hope it continues and if it does, we'll find out where and I'll be attended. You know what I'm saying? I would I would say, you know, if you're hesitant in any way, then that's that's the exact reason why you need to be there. Um, there's so much that you can be gained, but pe ignorance can be bliss to some people and not knowing. But 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 it's so much better to know what's what you have rights as a father, how to how to really truly save money and, and run things and pay bills correctly. You know these things can overrun us, and I would tell them. If you want a group where you can come and just be yourself and learn from some other fathers and just have a good time but also get some things done, come on, come on down. Because that's what we do around here. <laughs> I'm happy, man. I'm happy because I accomplished what I start, you know, and I'm happy. Like, you know, I was not here for four weeks because I was going to school, but, you know, now I'm here, you know, yeah. you know, and, and it's what matters, you know what I'm saying? The, the, that you, you don't quit, you know, you don't quit, you keep going forward, forward, and, you know, and, and I'm so blessed, man. I'm blessed, you know, that I got my family here, you know, sharing with, with the other families, and, and it's something, you know, that everybody needs, 
you know, everybody is dying, you know, you know, I'm excited, you. I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm excited about all these, man. Yeah. I'm so grateful. My heart is filled with so much gratitude for this prayer place that I really just want to say thank you. And, you know, I'm praying sending so many blessings out toward all the members of Hakka and, and everything that made this possible. And I will say also, and go out on a limb here, that making that little stipulation about not being on the lease, it's okay to come, was such a big deal. It really was. You, you guys, that, that helped so much. Like, I don't know if I would have been able to feel the, you know, um, urgency and even confidence to come here had that not been on the paper. So it was a big deal, so thank you, because I know that there was that there had to have been some heavy talk about that to make that happen, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. And uh, anything that I can do to give back to the program, man, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't believe you just watch, <laughs> you know, just, you know, join, you know, be a part of something, be a part of something good. I mean, you think of all the things that you may have been a part of in your life. Why not be a part of something positive? You know, something that, that's a movement, you know, that's gonna do something for you that may help your kids, that may help their kid, you know. You keep pushing, keep pushing. It starts from one, then it expands. So it's up, it's up to us. If you're watching and looking, then come on in, come on and join it. You know, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. We can sit up and think about anything all day. You know, it ain't gonna happen to you with some action. So that's how I look at it.